Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a deeper look here at App Engine. So, App Engine is a platform as a service for your applications. You can quickly deploy and scale web applications without having to worry about the underlying infrastructure. And a great way of thinking of this is if you know Heroku, it's basically the Heroku of GCP. So, the idea here is you can use your favorite programming language, whether it's Node.js, Java, Ruby, C Sharp, Go, Python, or PHP. You can also bring your own uh, language runtime, and you do that by uh, creating a custom Docker container. So there is all our familiar logos just to kind of uh, put home as to what you can use. Um, it has powerful application diagnostics. You have cloud monitoring, cloud logging to monitor the health of your performance, cloud debugger and error reporting to diagnose and fix bugs quickly, application versioning, so easily create de uh, development, test, staging, and production environments, traffic splitting, so route income, uh, incoming requests to different app versions, A to B tests, and do incremental feature rollouts. You have application security, so defining access rules with App Engine Firewall, uh, and you can leverage manage SSL TLS certification uh, certificates by default. So the idea is that you have all this infrastructure, and this is not even the full list, but all this stuff uh, around your application uh, uh, that you would uh, generally have to do yourself, but they do it all for you, okay? Uh, now there are two types of environments that you can launch with App Engine. You got flexible and standard. It's very, very, very important that you know the difference for the exam because they will have scenarios where you have to pick one or the other, okay? So you can simultaneously see, use both environments for your application. So it's not, you have to use one or the other. It just depends on what kind of workload you're running. Uh, and App Engine is well suited to applications that are designed using microservice architecture. So splitting it down the line, let's talk about standard and then we'll talk about flexible. So standard, I would describe as being serverless compute. So it starts in seconds. It's going to run in a sandbox, meaning that there's a uh, like you don't have uh, like you're not uh, deploying a container. It's just you're uploading your code. Okay, it's designed for rapid scaling, so it can handle uh, sudden spikes of uh, traffic. It supports specific language versions, uh, but it's uh, not a custom runtime. So if you've ever deployed a serverless function where you're just like choose Ruby, that's the language you get of a particular version. Okay, you're not going to get that much flexibility around that. It can scale to zero instances. So that's another characteristic of serverless compute. Its pricing is based on hours. Uh, it cannot, uh, you cannot use SSH to debug it, which is very common for serverless apps. Uh, there are no background processes. When we're looking at flexible, these are fully managed containers. So it starts in minutes. Uh, it runs with Docker containers on uh, Compute Engine uh, VM, so that's what it's doing underneath. It, it's designed for predictable and consistent traffic. It supports uh, generally any language version or uh, you can run a custom uh, runtime. Must have at least one instance running. The pricing is based on vCPUs, memory, and disk. You can SSH to debug it. Uh, and you can have background processes. So just understand uh, uh, those two and you'll be good for the exam, okay?